I'm Trayvon Benton. Um, I'm a fifth year senior. I play outfield for a Texas State baseball team. The moment I fell in love with baseball, I would say I was probably around four years old. I remember just, I lived with my aunt and uncle a little bit at the time. Um, they were kind of taking care of me while my mom, my mom had me at a young age, so they kind of raised me up a little bit, but I remember my uncle always taking me out to the, to these, like a park, and he would practice with me, hit me baseballs, and kind of, kind of just introduced me to baseball a little bit. So the journey to Texas State, coach called me and got me on a visit, and I enjoyed my time here. I loved all the coaches, I loved the campus, and just everything about this place. I tore my ACL October 31st, I think, I believe it was our, or it's funny, I tore my ACL on the last inning of our fall practices. So I was literally, I, t I tore my ACL, we switched sides and the fall season was over. So it was, it was weird how it happened and just a weird timeline because I, I thought I was, I was ready, I was hitting the ball great, I was, I was working super hard and I, I thought I was really ready for the season but I think God just ultimately had a different plan for my life. Also, 12 days after, I ended up getting engaged to my beautiful wife. The engagement was planned. There was no stopping that one. It was great. It was, it was perfect time, perfect day, and just a you know, perfect woman. So, let's see the recovery process. Um, let's see, uh, where do I start? One goal I've always had is to get drafted to play professionally, and you know, I kind of had all the odds kind of stacked up against me. I made three goals at the time. Um, I put them on my locker, and one of them was to get under 20% body fat. The second one was to bench press 300 pounds, and the third one was to outwork any red or gray shirt in the country. So it's about eight o'clock. Uh, I just got done with my second workout of the day. I'm about to take a couple extra swings of tea to try to fix a couple of things before season takes off. I knew that God finally had, ultimately had a plan for me just on the way things occurred and just our relationship, me and Amanda's relationship also grew through this process and yeah, it was just, you know, it was one of the best things that ever happened to me. Amanda, she's, I, mean, I can't even put into words just how, what she does for me every day basis. I'm, I mean, I'm here every single day till 8 till 8 o'clock at night. She always makes sure I'm taken care of and just, you know, I, I would say I'm I'm weak without her, or I'm just not as strong without her. She's my other half, and she's strong, and just you know she she takes care of me, and I I can't thank her enough for just all shit she does for me, and I love you. My expectation for myself this year is just you know just to let all the hard work pay off. You know I've I've put in the work. I'm more prepared than I ever been, and I just believe if I let that happen, then I'm having a really successful year.